four on this computer. All right, now let's go to, okay. All right, everybody got those cut? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you wanna start calling. Here's one person coming in, let's see. She got in, okay. You wanna um, start calling the end of your wire using the tip of your uh, round nose pliers. So we're just gonna focus on this picture here. Let me make it a little bigger. And you wanna put two turns using your um, round nose pliers on each end. And then remember you switch to your uh, chain nose pliers after you make the two turns with the uh, round nose. Y'all can keep talking just because it's recording. <laughs> Concentrating. <laughs> and you want to call, you want to have a call on each side and you want it to measure two inches. So you want one call on this side, one call on this side, and you want that space in between. Okay. But you want the whole thing to be two inches when you get done calling each end. Oh, okay. So what I'm saying is don't call all the way in, you know, just call a little, a little bit on each side mm -hmm. until the whole thing measures two inches. And I'm gonna go on and do one more piece too. I used um, 16 gauge, but it actually calls for 18 gauge. I think because it's gonna be heavy. Uh, they're, they're pretty light. A little cool. Mm -hmm. They're pretty light. I mean, the, the 16 gauge, won't it be a little heavy? It's just harder to turn. It's harder to bend. Okay, so now I got two. You say switch to the... Mm -hmm. Do two turns on each end with your round nose pliers and then switch to your um, chain nose pliers and make sure it's the kind sure that, that don't have the ridges so you don't uh nip your nip your wire nicole yes ma'am how long did you say to cut your wire the uh, two inches of wire to cut two seven and a half inches of 18 gauge okay got you mm -hmm. i don't know why i cannot do this the um the turns yeah when we put the chain on do we put the chain on the hole we put the chain what'd you say do we put the chain hole chain ply inside the hole or just to hold it flat um just to so when you put it inside the chain those pliers you're gonna put it in there flat like this oh where's the pitch where's the hold on and I'm sorry I'm at home today, so I don't have that other camera to be able to show you a little better. Um, so when you start turning them, you want it in there flat like that. Okay. And if you do have the ridges on your chain nose plier, just put some masking tape on them so it doesn't nick your wire. I stayed home today because I thought it was going to be storming and it, the Zoom always messes up at the center, so when it's storming outside. Yeah, this one, I was surprised. Mm -hmm. Oh, I shouldn't have said that on, while we're recording. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what's supposed to be two inches? Uh, when you, it should look like this when you're done. So you want a little bit of a coil on the left side, a little bit on the right side, and that whole piece should measure out two inches. I, I looked down what whole piece could you do your cursor can you see the um across okay uh -huh. Got it. yep see from the Wait end of the ruler there. to the two this part yep and try to get those as uh you know to have the same amount of turns as you can if one of them's off a little bit that's okay just as long as the whole thing measures two inches
Well, you can hear a pin. Like a nightmare to me. Are your um, round nose pliers dull? No, I'm using, I have the chain nose plier and I have it like you told me, but when I turn it, the whole thing turns and it's not making more rounds. Uh, let me do it one time. Uh, or am I turning it with my fingers to make the circles? I'm yeah. sorry, you know. You're pressing your fingers. And really, at, if um, your wire is pliable enough, you can do it. You can turn it with your fingers. You don't have to use your tools. After you get a certain amount of coils in there, uh -huh. you should be able to bend it with your fingers. But let me show you right quick. Nicole, do we do both pieces that we cut or just do one? Uh, you can go on and do both of them. Do both, okay. Cat coming in. And for anybody that came in late, you're, um, you want to cut two seven and a half inch pieces of 18 gauge wire and we're coiling both of the ends so that it's going to look like this. It should measure out two inches when you get done coiling each end and you don't want the coils to go all the way in. You want to have that space in between. them. Okay, Rosa. Yes. So you want to grab the tip of your why are you grabbing the tip of it when you start to turn it? Yeah, that first little turn I made mm -hmm. and then. And then just keep it on in there and make your second turn. Okay. And now I, I have it in the, in the um, chain. chain wise. So when you grab it with the chain nose, you just want to put it, you know, don't do it like that. You want to uh -huh. put it in there flat. The whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then okay. you're going to push in with your left hand and hold the wire with your right hand. But since you're left I'm right here. Oh, okay. I thought you were left handed the other day. What did you say? Sometimes I think I work backwards, but I'm right handed <laughs> and I'm pushing okay. it with my left hand. <laughs> okay. So you want to hold it, hold the wire with your right hand and push the wire in with your left hand. Okay. To do the turns. All right, it's coming. It's coming. Okay. And you know, and it's supposed to be two inches separating. Uh, the whole thing. Oh, let me see what's in the chat right quick. All right, where that ruler go? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Okay, Miss Jones. Okay, now the whole thing should be um. The whole piece should look like this when you get done. So it's not going to be just that space in between this two inches. The whole thing should be two inches. Should measure out two inches. Okay. What happened to my ruler? Oh, okay. <sighs> And if you don't want to use copper, you can use gold or silver or something else. Uh-huh. Who's copper. using something else? <laughs> you using <laughs> silver, Ellen? No, 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 I'm using copper. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm using, using silver. silver. Mr. Mr. Copper Clay. Where do y'all get y'all sterling silver from when you get it? I do um, I got it from Rio, Rio Grande. Huh? Rio Grande. I got it from Rio Grande. Oh, okay. I do plated. Silver plated. Yeah. So far, I've been happy with it. I don't have to clean it and store it in any special way that way. Those are my favorite metals, silver and copper. I like those. I do silver feel. Yeah, silver feel. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay. Unless I'm making something expensive, then I use the real silver. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to have it, but... Nicole, can I ask the person who, who's getting the, um, the sterling silver, can she put that website in the um, in the chat if she didn't mind? Not at okay. all. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. 
Okay, we'll wait a few more minutes and then we'll go on to the next step. Is anybody having trouble with the calls? Calling the... Mm -mm, it's coming up pretty good. Okay. Did you get my email? I mean, yeah, my... Uh, not yet. Uh, no, that was the other day. Something's going on this weekend. Can I ask a question, Nicole? Are they having any um, sh uh, shows um, that's selling copper or silver? I went to one this weekend, uh, but they were only doing crystals. Um, I'm and not sure. I can look into it. And okay. I wish I would have known about the, um, what was it? I think they just had like a merchants thing on Old National. Oh, oh really? I didn't know about that. And then they just I had one in uh, Red Oak that was on the 18th. And I just found really? out. Really? Wow. Yeah. I like you've known about 16, that. 17 to 18th at the Cobb, um, in Cobb County. And There's, it was nice. They had which, beautiful jewelry. Oh, okay. It's called the Gym Show. And they'll have it again in December, but there's going to be something in um, Gwinnett County next month. Can you let us That's know the date idea. when you uh, okay? When I will find out more about it. When you send me your e uh, when you send me that information, I'll, I'll have your email and I'll just forward it to you if that's okay. That's fine. Thank yeah, you. Let us all know. Oh, I will. I will. Rosa, did you get my email? But um. Wolf Creek is doing a, um, well, I guess a sale. If you want to sell stuff at Wolf Creek on Saturday, you could buy a this table. This can you put that in the chat, Wanda? I sent it to you, so I didn't know how to send it to everyone. Oh, you sent it to me? Uh-huh, it's a flyer. Oh, okay. Let me. When did you no, send it? I didn't get it, but I would like no, to. No, I sent it, um, I think I sent it Saturday. Can you send it one more time? Is it too? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hey, ladies, I'm going to put my email address in there and anything that you got uh, about anything, please um, don't hesitate to call me and anybody else that wants to share theirs, if you don't mind putting it in the chat, okay. I'd appreciate it. Thank okay. you, Ms. Nicole. I didn't want to take over your class. Thank you very much for letting oh, me no share problem. that. See if I can find it. Are you going to do it, Wanda? No, uh-uh. I don't have enough stuff. I'm not at that level yet. I don't think. Yes, you, <laughs> you could go in with somebody. Can it be like two, more than one person? That uh, yeah, they have all the information on the flyer. Okay. Uh, okay. Can find that and I'll send it out. Okay. Okay. Nicole, well, I'm gonna go to the next. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you you may have to to um, what they call it, uh, uh, edit. Your thing, <laughs> your, your recording. I let everybody know I was recording today, so we were, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying if you don't want that kind of information on there. <laughs> oh, well, they're putting it in, they can't see the chat. Everybody's putting it in the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. You talking about people's emails? No, no, no. I'm talking about, I'm about we talking about everything, but what you trade, you oh, know. okay. <laughs> Nicole, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, are we just supposed to stop at the point that they're two inches or we're calling till they get to the, till, till they touch? What are we stop doing? With it the two, the, stop at two inches. Okay. And then you want that space in between. So you want to call a little bit on the left side, a little bit on the right side. And then just when the whole thing measures out the two inches, that's when you need to stop. How long is each piece? Um, we'll get to that step. We haven't gotten to that, to that step. No, yet. no, but I'm saying when you started out before you start calling. Oh, I'm sorry. It was uh, seven and a half inches. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we go to step number two? Or... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Now in the book, oh, hold on, let me make this smaller. In the book, when they um, say go to step number two, see step number two, you're gonna bend over. Oh no, we skipped a step, we skipped a step, I'm sorry. So we did this step, this is step number two here. So grab your uh, round nose pliers 
and you want to center those right in the middle of your piece. And then you're going to bring this side down and then bring this side down around your pliers and it should look like this. So you're going to center your pliers right in the middle of your two inch piece. Mm -hmm. You want and, and both of the coils should be facing outwards. So you're going to bring this side down and bring this side down. And then your two coils should be touching and make sure that they're even. If you bring your sides down and one's a little bit longer than the other one, you know, fix it a little bit so they're even. Done, done. Oh, that's kind of cute. Do it to both pieces? Uh, yeah, you can do it to both pieces. Or should I slow down? No, you can do it to both pieces. Okay. Feel Nicole. free to tell me to slow down if I get too far ahead. Okay. I'm a, I may have to redo mine because I thought you said 17 inches. I did my, I did my 17 inches. Oh, I'm sorry. It was seven and a half. That's okay. I, I can always do it again. Okay. okay. I'm going to have to switch over to something. I'm going to have to plug. Okay, is everybody's piece looking like this when you bring mm -hmm. the sides down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go on to the next step. This is, and I'm going to put all the, um, you know, the writing in there. I, I, I just didn't have time. That's why I just had the pictures today. So. Okay, now that you have it looking like this, mm -hmm. this little tab, this little tab right here, we're going to fold over, but don't do it yet. Evelyn, I'm gonna mute you because I don't know why that echo when you have yours on, it has that echo. Okay. In the book, they tell you to um, line your chain nose pliers up right above the, um, the two coils and then flip it over. But if you do that, you see how you see how tight these are, like ones on top of the other one all the way around. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If you do it the way the book says, you're going to have a space in between each one. Mm -hmm. And I think it looks prettier with them overlapping like this. So it's just up to you if you want a space in between each one of your links. Mm -hmm. But if you want it like this, you want to bring that you want to come up just a little bit. The book says line your pliers up right here, right above the, the um, coils, but come up just a little bit and then bend it over. Okay. So you see how much space I have there when I bent it? Uh-huh. So that's how much you want to just come up just a little bit and then bend that little flap over. So, so you want up. some space between our pliers and the curve. And the coils. And the coil, okay. Okay, okay. And then but the book it. tells you to not have space, but if you don't have any space, it's going to hang too low. Okay, and then bend it over. Mm -hmm. So when you bend it over, you want it bent outward like this. Oh, okay. Like an L? Uh, yes. What's the word I'm looking for? Something else. Uh, when you bend right it angle? over. Y'all right, a right angle. Is that right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, don't trust me. Verify. <laughs> Just come up. Okay. And you can go on and do that to both pieces. So you should have about that much space from the. I, I didn't measure it, but just, you know, just come up just a little bit so it's not touching right where those coils are. And you want to use your chain nose pliers for this part. Oh, God. Just take your time. The first one turned out great. The second one looks a little I know. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around. Second, first one's wonky. It was one picture I forgot to put in there. Yeah. 
But I'll just tell you what to do. I forgot to put one picture. Now on one of them, go on and bend the tab all the way over so that it hits the coils. Go on and bend the tab all the way over so that it hits the coils. Oh, so okay. you have it at a right angle, just keep on bending until it hits those coils. And I forgot to put a picture of that in here. Let me, make, let me see. Okay, so when you bend it over, you just want a little bit of that tail. It should be just a little bit of it sticking out from below the coils. Oh, okay. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You see that. Okay, now you don't want to bend the other one. You want to have the other one still looking like this. Okay. And you're talking about the other one. The, we're making two of those? Yeah, we should have two okay. coil okay. lengths. But oh, okay. one of them, you want the tail sticking out at a right angle. And the other one, you want to go on and press it in so that it hits the, uh, the two coils. And somebody mute right. your TV if you have your TV on. My TV is not. Let me know if this if my TV is bothered because it's in the other room. I can hear it. Okay, I, I don't. I can't hear it now. I'll turn it off another room. Okay. Okay, so everybody should have one with the right angle tab sticking out and one with the tab pressed in. Is everybody to that point? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to connect your links. So, I only have one, so I'll be watching. Huh? I only have one. Okay. I'll watch. Let me see. Let me do my second coil. Okay, so let me um, turn this. Now I'm gonna show you the picture of how they're showing you how to connect them first. So the one this, you know, both coils are gonna be facing towards you with the tab okay. in the back, with the tab in the back. Okay. You're gonna take the, the one with the right angle sticking straight out and you're gonna slide that into the one that we bent this hitting the coils and you're going to flip it around so that it looks like this. Once you get it in there, you can go on and press that one down too. So that, that the tab on that second one hits the coils and it should look like this when you get them together. Are we kind of like interlocking them? We're interlocking them. Oh, okay. I see it. And Annie, does your are they overlapping or is it ha have a space in between? It's actually overlapping. You want it, you want it to overlap. Okay, so you have to work it. Okay, okay. So the one with the right angle sticking out, you want to slide that into the tab of the one that's pressed in, swing it around, and then go on and press it in flat. Oh, okay. The one that you put in. Okay, mm -hmm. flat. Okay, all right. Got it, Rosa. I thought Rosa was already in here. She got knocked off. Oh, yeah. She's hmm. trying to get back in. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just got back in. Okay. Can you show? I know I went out right when you were telling us to do something with the two pieces. Oh, that's okay. So um, I'm going to go back to this step. So you know, we, we, uh, did you get this part where you had the right angle? I'm no, I just, I, I just, um, uh, when I went out, we had just put the, uh, the plies in the middle and bent them back. Okay. So remember before you, um, let me go back to this picture. So we, we did that picture. Yeah, this is as far as I got before I, I blanked out. Okay. So when you um when you're getting ready to flip that tab back, you don't want to come all the way down. The book tells you to start where the coils are to line your uh, chain those pliers up where the coils are. 
-hmm. but you want to come up just a little bit and then bend that tab back to a right angle. I see that you have them close together. Yes. Take the space out of the middle. Uh, which part are you talking about? Remember when we bent it back? Uh -huh. it's, it, you know, mine has the space in the middle. Should I squeeze them together? Uh, let me see. You talking about this part? Yeah. Yeah, so when you, um, you know, it has the space in the middle, you want to grab it in the middle with your round nose pliers, like, you know, grab it right in the middle, and you're going to bring this tab down, and you're going to bring this tab down. Right, but do I, then do I squeeze them together so that it's close? Oh, yeah, you want to squeeze it together so the two coils touch. Uh -oh. Thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. These are pretty. Hi, sorry, I'm late. Who is that? Linda. Linda? <laughs> yeah, I just reached home. Okay, I'm let me see what time is it. Well, I can go back over everything, but let me I'm gonna keep going and then I'll go back to catch you up. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Just go ahead. So now bend this back. Okay, so now. You're at this part. Linda, go on and cut two seven and a half inch pieces of a uh, 18 gauge wire to get started. Okay. All right. So now, Rosa, you want to you switch to your uh, chain nose pliers. Okay. And um, like I was telling them, the book tells you to, to line them up right above the coils, but you want to mm -hmm. come up just a little bit so that it's not hitting where those two coils are. Mm-hmm. So it should look like, you, you know, you want to come up this a little bit and then you're going to bend your, that tab back to a right angle. Okay. So you want to come up just a little bit, bend the tab back to a right angle. You should have a little bit of space in there and go on and um, do you have two pieces or do you just have one piece? No, I have two pieces. Okay, so on your second one, you want to do the same thing, but press the tab all the way in so that it's hitting the coils. So you want to have one with the right angle tab, and then on the other one, go on and press the tab all the way in. So, but come up on on your chain those pliers in the same place for each link. And on one of them, uh, bend the tab all the way in. All the way in. You want to bend it all the way over so that so that it hits the back of those coils. Oh, okay. And one has just the and one yeah. just the right angle where it's sticking out. Okay. And one all the way back. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the way till it touches in the back. All the way till it touches hits the coils. Okay. All right. So now that you have that, I'm going to show you how to interlock. Them. Who gave me that word interlock? That's a good word. Thank you. I did. Um, thank you. So now the one that has the right angle, you want to slide that into the one that you bent all the way back to hit the coils. You're going to slide it in there, flip it around, and then you're going to press it flat. When you press it flat, it should look like this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, the one with the right angle. I'm sliding wanna, it in. You wanna slide that into the other one and kind of flip it around so that they're both facing the same way. Flip but, it around, flip it around to the front. But when I, oh, okay, wait a minute. Let me, maybe if I do it from the other side, it'll go better. Okay. Okay, so now it's it's right on top of the other one. Okay, uh -oh. now go on and press that one in. Press the tab on that one in like you did for the other one. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can get it to, to do it right. And if you did it right, they should you want them to overlap just a little bit. In the book, they didn't want them overlapping. They wanted them, you know, like that. 
but I think it's prettier when they overlap, like the picture down here. Mm -hmm. and okay. Can, so let me... And you can make a necklace with this, a bracelet, you know. Nicole, when you, um, after you finish your double coil, your coil's on each side, where do you place the wire? Are you placing it at the at the top? Uh, oh, let me, I can go back. You want to, okay. um, so you have your, the coils on each side. Uh -huh. You want to place the, the, place the tip of your, uh, the tip, okay. Of your round nose pliers right here in the middle. Okay. And then you want to bring down the left side and bring up, your coil should be facing outwards when you bring them down. Oh, they should be facing outward? They should be facing outward. See this picture right oh. here? Okay, I see what I did wrong. I made them uh, opposite end. You want, they should be facing outwards. Okay. Nicole, when I, when I flip this through, mm -hmm. it goes through, but it don't flip around. I mean, when I flip it around, it comes back out of the, the loop. Did you press it? When you flipped it around, did you press the tab in in the back? Not yet. When so you press that tab in the back, yet. that should keep it secure. But am I, is the goal to get the, the right angle curve into this other one? Yeah, the goal is to get the right angle into the into the uh, the little loop part of the other one. Then you're going to flip it around and then press in the tab on that one so that they both hang straight down. My coils are going inward, right? So this is wrong. Yeah, just flip it around. Just turn it turn it so that they're stick they're going up towards the ceiling. Turn the coils. Okay. Uh huh. And when they get connected, they should be facing the same direction, right? Yes, they should look like this right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna go back to the first step for Linda, but basically <laughs> that's what you need to do to make the whole bracelet. But just make sure on each one that you keep, you know, try to grab it in the same place when you get to this part. Mm -hmm. And you know, make sure that one of them has that right angle, slide it in the other one and then press it in. So I'm gonna go back to step number one for uh, Linda. Okay. Nicole, okay. I have to leave. So y'all have a good day now, okay? Okay, okay did you, did you, you. Uh, get the links, how to make them? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Nicole, since you're going back to step number one, I had a question about those calls. I do have a gizmo, but I don't know how to use it. So when I've been calling them, I've been having to do it by hand. And they seem to overlap. They seem to, it's hard to kind of mash it and get it to, to be one on top of each other. Any suggestions for that? You can't call it in the gizmo. Well, <clears throat> how do you all call it then? You started off with the... Um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm about to go... Uh, you gotta actually you gotta do it yourself so I can see it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh Linda, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'm here. So the first step, this is what we're making here. It's uh called an Egyptian yes, coil sorry. bracelet. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I want ours to look like this, where they're the coils are overlapping. Okay. Overlapping. Um, mm -hmm. step number one. You want it to cut two seven and a half inch pieces of uh, 18 gauge wire. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to coil the end of them. So let me go back to this page. So you wanna use your round nose pliers, and I'm sorry, I don't have my other camera, it's at the center. It's okay. But you wanna use your round nose pliers. Right. Get use the tip of your rod on those pliers, and you're going to grab the tip of the wire, right? And you want to make a turn. Mm -hmm. Who was the it. person that was that needed help with this part? Me. I'm looking at you. Who is it, Sylvia? 
Yes. Okay. I'm a I'm a beginner, so I'm just watching you all. Basically, I don't think I'll be able to do this project, but I do want to learn how to call. Okay, that's fine. And okay. I can go over if you go to the uh, beginning class too. I'll do it again in there to um, on Friday. Yeah, okay. to kind of help you out with it. Okay, so we're gonna make another turn. We're making two turns with our round nose plier. Mm -hmm. And then remember when you're doing the coils, you want to make those two turns with your round nose pliers, and then you want to switch to your chain nose pliers. Right. So you're going to put that wire in there like that. You want to hold the wire with your right hand and push with your left hand to make your coils. Okay. I got it. Okay. Yes. So Sylvia, with this one, you kind of got to do them by hand. You can't I don't think you'd be able to do it with the gizmo. So when okay, you do well, it, I, I remembered you said that last time I was in one of this class, you all used that. And I just wondered what we you use it for some for. stuff, but we make for this one you gotta um, for, this. for this one you gotta do it by hand. And, so and the, you have to have a lot of copper wire too, right? Yeah. Okay. So when you make the turn for one end, yours, how far you go to, right to the okay, center? Let me go back to um, that page. <clears throat> so you want to coil a little bit on each side until your whole coiled piece, until your whole piece measures out two inches. Oh, so okay, you don't want to you don't want to coil all the way until the center. Mm -hmm. You want to have a space in the center there. All right. So the two inches. Yeah, the whole thing should measure out two inches. Mm -hmm. with the okay, on each side. I understand. Then after that, okay, then you just that, bent it. After mm -hmm. that, you want to grab it right in the middle with your round nose pliers. Mm -hmm. And you want to bring the, your left side down, bring your right side down. When you bring your sides down, the coil should be facing outward, like this picture here. What do you mean, baby? You just actually bring it towards each other. Uh huh. Right. So you're going to put your round those pliers right there in the middle. You're going to pull this side down and you're going to pull that side down until they touch. Okay. I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if anybody needs to leave, that's okay. Cause we've already, we, uh, you know, I'm just going back over from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, Nicole is setting the, in the instruction. You need 35 of these. Is that right? Um, it just depends on how long you want them. I would start out with 10. Oh, well, I cut 35 pieces so yeah, wide. See, you know, I want it just depends on how okay. long you want the piece. Okay. You might need 35, but it depends on how big your wrist is. How long? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Linda, are you clear with this part here? Yes, I am clear. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Uh, this picture here. So now you want to switch back to your chain nose pliers. Huh? Oh, change no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I got my three. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> uh, hopefully you can see it. I use beads. Um, oh, pretty. Oh, that's pretty, man. How'd you get the beads in there? I've done this before. Oh, years, okay. Years oh, okay. Ago. That's right. <laughs> Let me see it. Yeah, Put show it up it again. Any, hold it high up. Put the uh, paper. It. Put the paper behind it. Um, is the beads in the center coil? Is this when you start at the center coil? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Uh, no, no, the bead. It's in the center. I put the bead at the very beginning. At the, at the very beginning. beginning. Okay. And I just wrapped around that. Bead. Around that. Oh, that's yeah. pretty. Put it, up again. It up. put it up, Annie. Uh oh, uh oh, Rose about to say something. <laughs> no, no, no! That's I just cool. wanted to see it. Oh, okay. That's pretty. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. That's I can't pretty. see it. I can see it. One more time, see please. Any. <laughs> can you see it? Um, this is it. Um, that's very you put pretty. The there? That's beautiful. Are the beads man. green. The beads are green. These are green. Yeah. These pretty. are the smallest ones that I had. So, these are about three millimeter. Oh, that's pretty. Did you? That's did the nice. trait go into the beads? Uh, if the wire, wire, I mean, the wire go through the beads. So mm -hmm. you do the wire to the papers. I use, I use the 20 millim, uh, uh, twenty gauge wire. 
Oh, okay. Last time, what did I use? So. Okay. All right. So let me go on to the next, the last step. It was hot. Um, I still so you use a chain nose together. plier to bend the thing? How how many inches you bend it though? Which part are you on, Linda? You no, have that this? Is, this is a part that you are looking at. So you've done yeah. this part here? I haven't done it, but I know how to do up to here. Okay. So after well, that, you bend it, right? Yeah, but when, how long when you're do gonna, you need um, that angle? I'm about to tell you. So just get, you're going to use your chain nose pliers. Uh-huh. You want to come up right above where the um, two coils are lined up. Mm -hmm. Don't okay. put it right where they're lined up. You want to come up just a little bit further. Okay. And then you want to bend that tab back into a right angle. Oh, so okay. This is the tab I'm talking about right here. This tab right here. Uh huh. You're going to bend so that back into a right angle. Right. Mm hmm. Okay. So now to interlock them, you want to, oh, no, I skipped a step. Sorry about that. So on one of them, you want to have the right tab uh -huh. bent back like that. And then on the, uh, the other one, you want to have that tab pressed all the way in so that it's hitting the coils in the back. So on one of them, you want to have the um, tab sticking out at a right angle. On the other one, you want to have the tab pressed in so that it's hitting the two coils in the back uh, this is two links so one together. one you bend it together the other one is right angle yes okay then how does it go together let me see okay now to interlock them you want to slide the one with the right angle with the tab sticking oh out. i got it yes i can see it yes slide you want to slide that into the other one that's bent all the way back you're going to slide it around and mm -hmm. then you're going to press that tab in on the on the one that you slid in and it should look like this so it becomes bent together again uh-huh okay so it, it. It, it, it is crooked when it goes in yeah it's going yeah, to be crooked when you put it in and then you're going to have to slide it around to the front you're going to have to kind of put it in sideways and then slide it around to and the then front. push it down and then push it down and that holds it okay and it holds it in place and they should be facing the same way when they when they finally they finish. Be facing yeah. the same way. Yeah, well, that is a situation here. <laughs> <laughs> we make sorry, one of these before less. similar to this, though. Huh? We make one of these earlier similar to this, but uh, not, we didn't join it this way. I think. Yeah, this is where they're interlocking. Yeah, but this is pretty too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I got this. I got this part slid in. Okay, so you're to this part right here. Uh huh. Uh, With, who is oh, figure nineteen. Nineteen. Huh? Figure nineteen. Yeah. So you have the, that part uh, going into the other one. Okay, I think I have it the opposite way. Okay. Because the um the flat part with the hook is supposed to be facing outwards. Yeah, you want one, you want on one of them, you want to press the tab all the way in. I got and then that. on your second one, you want the tab sticking straight out. Got that. Okay. So now the tab that's sticking straight out, you're sliding that into the loop of the one that's pressed all the way in. Okay. And they should There's both be with... facing forward. Okay. After There's you get it with... slid in there, then you want to press the tab back. You want to flatten the, the tab back on the one that you put in there. And they should okay. both look like this. Okay, I think I, I think I'm getting it. Okay. Um, let me. Uh, did anybody okay. give give um? Andy, did your daughter like the uh, the uh, lock cuff that we did? Did you give it to her? No, I kept it for myself. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you give it to your daughter, man. <laughs> yeah, because I wear my hair. I got the pigtails, and I put it on there. <laughs> You were like, I'm gonna give this to my daughter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the next one, one, right, Annie? How to giving them free stuff? <laughs> I changed it to the earring. Oh, you made earrings out of yours? Yeah, because I I don't have curly hair like you are. So but you, all you gotta do is braid your hair. If you make a braid out of your hair, then you can slide it on the braid. Anybody can wear them. 
Not oh, with I'm this see. short of hair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't do it. If you have long hair, you can just braid it. Yeah. You know, put them on the braid. I'm thinking of doing it, but then I'm lazy. I'll do some for my uh this is wonderful. Linda, these are the ones we did Friday. We did this yeah, one. I, no, this one was done last uh, Friday. Those are no, beautiful. Friday. Those are pure. Yeah, we want to do this low. one, yes. I did this, but not this the center one though, not the one with the blue. Yeah, we did in the Tuesday class, we did some that didn't have all they weren't as uh intricate. So the, we did these in the Friday. Put the oh, you did there. it on Friday? What time do y'all come on on Friday? At uh, uh one o'clock. Mm. You know what? Last Friday I was okay to join, but I just couldn't lock in. I don't know why. Thursday and Friday I couldn't lock in. Make That's sure you were it. clicking on the um what's the name of it? The beginning beginning of yes. wire work. Can you put back to the picture again so that I can have a look of what the there is a different one? Yeah, really thank you. Let me take a picture. My hair. Okay. Nicole, is that that? is that link? Um, I can't believe is, how scary my hair is when I get is, up. Just is that the I same can... link that you normally have for all your classes? So if I click on the one for no, two... no, 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 every class well, is different. There are different links. It's a different link. I have to on the email. But well, I'll I... send. You want me to just send a link to you? Yes, through okay. an email. Okay. Do you did you send the instructions out for that? Can you send it to me also, Miss uh, Nicole? Yes, ma'am. Nicole, for the yes. instruction for this one, the last Friday I did attend. If you can send me the instruction, I would like to do this. Okay. Yeah, I did the other one that we did it in the other class. See, this was the other, the other one. one we did in the two. Yeah, this Remember one I did already. That one around. I don't think anybody was really feeling this one with the uh, mm -hmm. double. <laughs> The double. Loop. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to put your head inside. I like this one. the one from Friday better. Yeah, Friday was good. Yeah. And then remember, we did made this one here. Oh, those are beautiful. Yeah, those are pretty. That's the one I got. Yeah, I did this yeah, one too. On there. I love that one. Okay, so does everybody? Um, I can't get mine to interlock, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Let me hold it up with a. I'm having the same problem. Where, uh... And when I do interlock, I'm trying to get them to go in the same direction as right. another problem. Hold that step once again. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so um, you should have one where the. Let me go back one more step. That's my dog over there. I had to put him in the crate. Okay, so you want to grab the wire in the middle. Mm -hmm. You're going to bring your two tabs down. Uh huh. And then you want to come up. So when I'm saying you're going to grab this part right here. Uh huh. I'm but you okay want to come that. up to about right here. Don't grab it right down there where it's touching the coils. Come up okay. just a little bit, like about right here. Okay. And then you're going to flip that back into a right angle. Okay. Got that. All right. Now on the other one, you want to do the same thing, but mm -hmm. flip the tab all the way in. So it's touching the two coils in the back. Okay. But make sure you, you, you grabbed it at the same place as you did the first one. Okay. okay when it's now, a little higher. Huh? When it's a little higher. You know, might try to get it about in the same place. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, One, two, three, four. Now to interlock them, you want to, um, you know, you want to have both of the call. The tab should be in the back on both of them when you're trying okay. to uh, interlock them. Okay. You're putting the one with the tab sticking straight out. You want to slide that through. The uh -huh. one that's pressed in. You're going to have to kind of turn it sideways a little bit to get it to go through there. Uh huh. Then you're going to bring it on around and then press that tab in flat in the back on this one, too. Now, when I bring it around, it's on top of each other. So, what am I doing wrong? You want it on top of each other. To, yeah. Oh, okay. You want them to overlap. Okay. One, two, three, zero. Okay. 
And then once you have it in there, go on and press that tab in and then that's it. You know that if you do three round on the coil, seven and a half inches is too long. What do you mean? Oh, no, it's not. It's not? Mm-mm. I'm just I'm seven sure. and a half. I'm okay. You okay? I'm just, just seven and a half. Okay. I'm just see. seven and a half. And I had to be careful because by the time I put four or five little curls in it, it was shorter than two inches. Uh-huh. Okay. I thought mine is too long. Let me finish it up first. Now, if you have too much space in the center, uh, Linda, yeah. that means that you didn't grab it. You grabbed it too close to the coils. You want to come up just a little bit, then bend it. Okay. You don't want to grab it. The book tells you to do it right there, but then you're going to have that space. You mm -hmm. want each you want each coil to overlap over the other one. Okay. <laughs> if the overlap is kind of like a double lap, what am I doing wrong? You want it to be a double lap. Okay. Okay. Hey, Ned. Um, can you, uh, did you finish my, you mopped the, uh, the, the house already? Who is it? Well, my bathroom for me when you do it, okay? <laughs> Somebody I'm sorry. Car. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I did my bathroom yesterday. Oh, I'm about to say, I wish somebody come up, man. I know, you better say, come <laughs> on over here. <laughs> Me too, I'm thinking about getting somebody. I, I hate mopping, I need to mop my, 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 my kitchen, the bathroom. Right, me too. Yeah. I just need I somebody to come here and make a clean sweep of the whole place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so does everybody have it now, or? Yeah, I'm good. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Pat, you got it? Yeah, I had it, I took it, came out and what gauge are you using? 18 gauge? Uh huh. Pat, you yeah. love them earrings. Well, you need to make another pair of them. Too. <laughs> what? I'm going to do these in copper. Oh, okay. <laughs> copper. <laughs> Those are the other ones. And now that I got the gist of it, it look a little better. Hold up what you just did so I can make sure you got it right. Okay, wait, wait. Um, hey, babe. It got crooked. Okay. Okay, how you doing? Gail, did you get it? Huh? I'm just finishing up. You're muted, I think. No, what you doing? Rosa, mute your phone. Rosa, you on the phone. Why are you on the phone? There's mine. Oh, that looks pretty. Very that's, happy with that's it. That's the um, sterling silver. Yeah. That looks pretty. Well, silver plated. Because I'm too good. cheap to buy So sterling. you just keep on doing that until you get it the length. And then I'm going to show y'all how to put the... Um, what do you call it? The latch on there next week. Okay. So we keep adding to it after, after we keep connecting. Yeah, you want to keep doing them the same way. Keep one of them at the right angle, slide it in, press it in. Okay. And just keep going around. So try to have all that done by next week. Okay. And then we'll do the um, dreadlock cuffs and I'll show you how to put the, the um, latch on this. Okay. okay. And then that was it. Anybody have any questions? No, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like for you to show me next time um, how to finish the um, the, the hair piece, the coil piece, because I okay. got two wires. And I don't know what to do with them. Come to the uh, come to the class on Friday, and I'll show you. Okay. Which one are you talking about? The uh, the um, uh, this one. No. Let me show you. I still have one of these. One, the one on the bottom. This one? No, we didn't. I didn't do that one. I didn't know how to do that one. It's closer to this one. This one. This one. Uh, one yeah, what's to do with the end wires on that? Okay, well, I'll show you, Freddie. Okay. All right, and thank you for everybody coming to class today. I really appreciate you guys. Okay. Thanks for doing it. Yeah. Oh, no problem. I'm gonna try to send you this um, flyer so you can send to everybody, Nicole. Okay. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Hey guys. Bye. 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 Hi, Nico. I can't attend tomorrow. I have some uh, meeting on. Just want to let you know. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just send me all the instruction will do. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. What's going on bye -bye. tomorrow? Bye -bye.